info and in this video we're going to look at how you can use uh, the full spectrum rectum retina engraved 3.0 uh, when you're not hooked up to your laser cutter or laser printer uh, to design and save a uh, laser cut or laser engraved file uh, so that you can uh, just when you hook up you can just import your file and be ready to print you don't have to do a lot of adjustment and changing uh, once you get it loaded this is really useful if you're at home or you're not somewhere where you can hook up directly to you, your laser cutter or if someone else is using it and you want to make a file uh, that lets you make this file and then quickly uh, get into using your laser cutter uh, so i'm at the full spectrum uh, website fslaser.com and i've clicked on software uh, then I'm just going to click try it now for the 3.0. I got to select my account and it's, since I've already logged in, it's already selected. You may have to select your Google account and log in that way. Uh, since we're doing it online and we're not hooked up to directly to our laser cutter, laser engraver, uh, it pops up this warning telling us some of our limitations. Uh, we're just going to click OK and that's going to give us the grid we can work with. Uh, from here, you could design in here if you wanted to. It does have some abilities. It's got shapes, it's got letters, uh, you can put in some text and etc. Uh, however, a lot of times you like to create in some other software, whether it's a CAD software, or design software, or even something as easy as Google Docs or Microsoft Word. It could be something as simple as that. Uh, so, so to show you that ability, we're just going to open a Google Doc. Uh, I'm going to type something in. I've uh, changed the font a little bit just so it looks different. And we're just going to say, hi, Dan. Uh, it's in bold. You, if you want to change the size, it's best practice to make the, the right size, everything correct uh, size and format in here. And then all you have to do is upload and move it to the proper location in your grid. Uh, so we got it at 48 right now. I'll make it a little bigger so it's easier to see when we get there. Uh, so we're at 96. Uh, and all we have to do from here, once you have it all laid out, everything how you want it, all we have to do is file download. It's going to work best as a PDF, so we're going to save it as a PDF or download it as a PDF. Uh, it's going to go to my document, so I have an untitled document coming in, and it's just in my document downloads folder. So then I come back to the retina engrave, I go file and import or you can just click on the little picture for an import as well uh, but i'm just going to import an image or drawing i select that untitled document uh, here it's asking asking if we want to vector or raster a vector would typically be if you want to cut it out so whether it's word uh, cardboard uh, acrylic anything like that glass even if you want to cut it we would do a vector if we want to engrave it, it would be a raster. In this case, I'm looking to cut it out, out of cardboard, so I'm going to unclick raster. That way, it's only giving me a vector file. Uh, when I hit OK, it's going to pop that vector file in on for me, and I could uh, then print it off on my uh, laser cutter once I hook up. Uh, to save that file, I want to go to File, Export Project to File, and I select that and it saves that file. I may want to go through and rename it since I didn't name the project on there, uh, but it's saving it to my download folder now, and then I can open it once I'm able to hook up to my laser cutter, laser engraver, I can open it up, or I can email that file to someone who has access to uh, the laser cutter engraver. Uh, so different ways to design without being hooked up to your laser engraver or laser cutter. Uh, we looked at using a PDF in this one for a cutting. Uh, you could just as easily upload a picture or upload an image that you want to engrave onto something like Word. Doing that same process, only instead of hitting vector, you would hit a raster. Uh, you could change your settings while we're here. Uh, if we're doing something like Word, we want to cut Word out, our speed would slow down, we'd keep the power and current the same. If we're doing cardboard, we'd change our power so we don't end up catching our cardboard on fire. Uh, so just some different changes. You could also make those changes after you've hooked up to your uh, laser engraver, your laser cutter. Uh, so this is just how to set it up and design without having that Muse core that right there with you. Hopefully this helps uh, and good luck.